Once upon a time, a long time ago, a princess named Coconut Cupcake was taking a stroll, and she came upon a troll. <gasps> the troll guarded a bridge, a troll who let no one pass without paying the toll. Princess Coconut Cupcake ordered the troll who takes the toll to lower the bridge so she might cross. But you must pay the toll, insisted the troll who takes the toll. Ha! Huh, says you, I am Princess Coconut Cupcake, and you must do as I say, said Princess Coconut Cupcake in an ever so high and mighty manner. That was not really good manners at all. <laughs> Heel? Heel, heel! Help! <laughs> oh, so much for heel. Heel refused to pay the toll to the troll. She said, "I will find my own way." Uh, well, and what do you say? I thought it sounded like story time. I'm sorry to interrupt. It's actually a good place to stop. Uh, we're just at the end of the chapter. We'll find out what the little asparagus told the princess next time. Yay! Bye, Bye, kids. Wow, they really love that story. Every time I read it to them, it's like they're first. You know, Plum has been asking for ideas for a play to direct, and I'm wondering if she could do a berry fairy tale as a play. You know, put on a show for the kids. That's a great idea. I'll loan her my big book of Berry Can Berry Fairy Tales. Huh? This is great! What a super idea! You don't know how long I've been trying to decide which play to do. And how special to do something for the Berry Can Kids. It'll be like a cozy little story time on stage. Perfect! Thanks, girls! <laughs> 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 nice one, Plum! Thank you, Orange! <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, hello there, Plum! Huh? <gasps> oh, Cherry, I'm so sorry! Oh, no! I kind of squashed your very big Glitz and Glamour magazine! I'm really... Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins. Colossal Smash Stage Play at Berry Big City Theater. Oh, yeah. It's huge. Biggest thing to hit Berry Big Broadway in years. It's packing in the audiences. Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins? That's a big production. Wow. You know, I could do something sensational with that play. I would direct it. Bigger. Better. I could make it a bigger hit than it is in Berry Big City. I thought you were just putting something together for the Berry King kids. You know, a cozy little story time on stage. Huh? Oh, sure, sure. But this, this, this will be bigger and better. And when the final curtain falls and the applause of the audience is ringing in the rafters, no one will say that Plum can't direct a smash hit. I don't think anyone's saying that. And they won't! I'll direct a play that will make Berry Bitty City the talk of the theater world! <laughs> mirror, mirror, at my command! Mirror, Tell mirror, me my Barry command! Ferris. Tell me who is the very fairest in all the land. I've been to a lot of auditions in my time, and I've never had to wait this long. How long have we been here? Oh, since before lunch. Hmm. Uh, <sighs> okay, that's it. I'm gonna find out what's going on. Why are you dressed like that? We thought we might have a better chance if we all dressed for the part. I'm guessing you're all trying out for Snowberry? Well, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, well, yes. And may the best gown, I mean, girl, win. Inspired, Berry Bonnie. 
simply inspired. Now, you are a tree in a forest. What kind of tree? You know, am I a maple, an oak, spruce, birch fir, mulberry, hemlock, chestnut, pecan, silver fir, walnut, white fir, aspen, jeffrey pine, lodgepole pine, uh, loblolly pine? Give me a moment. Okay, here it is. You are a redwood. So, as a redwood, how would you, from deep within your redwood heart, from the very depths of your redwood soul, sing this? Note. La! Hmm. A good start, but I'm not believing it yet. Plum? Oh, hi, Strawberry. Um, I believe there are others in line ahead of you. Plum? Yes? It's dark outside, and there are a lot of folks waiting. Do you think we might move the rest of the auditions to the morning? Goodness, time just flies when I'm in my zone. Uh, good idea, Strawberry. But I've got a big show to cast, so we better start early. People, people, all right, that's a wrap for tonight. Auditions continue first thing in the morning. How's this, huh? La! La! <laughs> Maybe it should be somewhat sweeter. Sweeter? Oh, well, how did Plum say she wanted it for the play? Huh? There they are, our stars. Hey, congrats! Congratulations! Ah, uh, thank very you very much. I'm so excited she picked me to play Snowberry. I can't believe I actually got the role, the part. But uh, I'm a little kind of uh, nervous. Well, Raspberry, you're gonna be fabulous. <laughs> I just know it. And I'm so excited to be the Berry Mean Queen, but I'm a little nervous too. I just hope I can do it the way Plum wants it. It is I, the Berry Mean Queen. <laughs> well, it's just supposed to be a fun show for the Berrykin kids. They'll love it no matter what. I don't know. Plum's putting a lot of pressure on us. The Berry Mean Queen is who I am. It is I who am the Berry Mean Queen. That's me, Berry Mean Queen. I guess Plum really does want this show to be as grand as Berry Big City Theater's production. But how will she do that? We're Berry Bitty City. All we have is a bitty stage. Big! Think big! Curtain goes up in one week, people! No one should be reading their lines off their scripts anymore! Oh. Hello, Snowberry. We're the seven Berrykins. Plum! Huh? Your design crew is here. At last! You seven, take five and memorize those lines! So, let's talk about the big tidal wave effect in Act Two. Uh. I don't remember a tidal wave in Snowberry and the Seven Barricans. I don't think Berry Big City Theater had a tidal wave. Exactly! But we will. That's why our Snowberry play will be bigger and better than Berry Big City's production. Uh, I'm just wondering, why does our play have to be better... And bigger! Uh, that too. Than very big cities. Do you want us to be the laughing stock of the theater world? A and I'm the director, so I'll be the laughingest of the stock. I could see the headlines now. Very bitty city makes very big boo boo. People pull plug on plum. Work with me, please. I said the Seven Berry Kids need to fly stage right to stage left, not left to right. Those launch platforms need to be built on the other side. Flying Berry Kids? I guess another thing only our Snowberry play will have. <gasps> Listen, I'm all for dreaming big, but I'm worried Plum is dreaming too big this time. Kind of going a little overboard. Somewhere she'll never find her way back from. Here comes Lemon now. Speaking of going overboard. <laughs> very overboard. <laughs> I order you, Royal Huntsman, to leave Snowberry. Hi. Come try some coconut swirl I just made. What would the Queen of the Kingdom want with that? Fetch me a short stack and make it snappy, or to the dungeon you'll go. Why don't you join us, Lemon? 
Aw, guys, don't call me Lemon. I gotta stay in character. Join you indeed. What do you take me for? I only dine with royalty. And in the whole kingdom, tis no one as royal than I. Which means I dine alone. Lonely at the top, huh? Forsooth, yay, and verily. Wrap those pancakes up, kind peasant. To go, I'll take them, I will. Can you not see that I, the very mean queen, am in a hurry? I'm expected at a rehearsal forthwith, or the director shall have my crown. Thank you, kind peasant. Make way. Overboard is right. Do you think she'll turn back into Lemon after the play? Or will we be stuck with Berry Mean Queen forever? <laughs> <laughs> okay, try it again. Again? We're doing it till we get it right. Mirror, mirror, at my command. Tell me, who is Berry Fairest in all the land? Uh, is it Princess Berrykin? Berrykin Bloom? Oh, wait, uh, don't tell me. Uh, is it J.D. Bug at the post office? No, Berry Kim Bloom. We're not in Berry Bitty City right now. We're in the play Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins. And all you have to do is say your lines. Do you remember your lines? Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, the script. Um. <sighs> Give him the next line, Berry Mean Queen. Snowberry? <gasps> That's impossible! Is it? The mirror never... Oh, yes, Miss Plum, I remember now. The mirror never sighs. <sighs> lies. The mirror never lies. Oh, that's it. The mirror never lies. Yes, you got it. <sighs> Let's do it again from the top. Mirror, mirror at my command. Tell me, who is Barry Fairest in all the land? Snowberry. Snowberry? <gasps> That's impossible! The mirror never cries. Oh. Oh, dearie me! Goodness gracious! I am lost in the woods. The terrible, wearable woods. Alone and frightened. It is a dark night. I am so very, very scared of the fearsome animals and wild creatures. Come on, girl. You can do it. It's your big scene. <laughs> huh? Oh, fearsome creatures. Oh, wild animals. Are you there? Somewhere? Oh, well, I can't see you any wild animals at the moment, but I sure know they're here because I can just feel they are near. I can kind of, you know, sense them. Oh, I must hide from the wild animals. Gasp! Why, here is one now. <laughs> oh, no! An opossum? I mean, a wolf? I mean, what are you supposed to Cut! Be? Raspberry, it's a ferocious tiger! Oh, right! Well, I forgot. Without the tiger costume, I guess, you know, I couldn't tell. And the line before that, that's not in the script. Well, it just didn't feel real to my character to say there were wild animals when there wasn't. Uh, I couldn't see them. I understand. Ta-da! Huh? <laughs> we finished painting the cottage backdrop you wanted, Plum. Great. Let's see it. What am I looking at? The, the Seven, seven Barricans Cottage. Well, it looks like two different buildings stuck together. Well, I was thinking they would live in this kind of house. And I really feel this is the sort of home that I, I, I mean, <laughs> they would prefer. So we, uh, split, split the, the difference. difference. Oh. Plum, may I please speak with you about my lines in the scene with the Berry Mean Queen? I don't 
think they are genuine or, you know, organic or, I mean, really true to my character. <gasps> It's a good idea to sit right there. Ah, uh, yes. So pleased to make your acquaintance. I am the very mean queen, very fairest in all the land. What? What's that you say? I am not the very fairest in all the land? Who? Whom do you speak of? Snowberry? <gasps> Curses! Who goes there? Who dares? Um, uh, it's Strawberry and Cherry. We were wondering if you're coming to book club. <laughs> Aren't you excited, Plum? It's your dress rehearsal. No, I'm nervous. Raspberry didn't have time to sew all the costumes because she was too busy learning her lines. If the tidal wave isn't big enough, the puppies don't look scary enough. Hmm? Oh, Bitterberries, they're ready. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a queen with a magic mirror. Mirror, mirror, at my command, tell me who is very fairest in all the land. Great effects, Plum. My queen, you are the very... Um, uh, oh. I am the very fairest in all the land. Ah, the mirror never lies. And all was well for the queen. Until one day... Mirror, mirror, at my command. Tell me, who is very fairest in all the land? Well, the gist of it is, there's this new kid named Snowberry who is looking pretty fair these days. What? Well, uh, did you really expect to be very fairest of the land forever? So, are you saying the Snowberry is fairer than I? Um, yes. That's impossible! Uh, the mirror never... Lies. <sighs> oh. uh. mm. uh. The very idea. Show me this snowberry. Well, okay, if you insist. Ugh. Remove her, please. No, I mean, I need her removed from the planet. Well, I'm just a mirror. Don't you need something like some uh, evil huntsman or, or something for a job like that? Huntsman and poison apples couldn't do the job, so I'll have to do it myself. Oh, my! Oh, dear! I am done for! No, you're not, Snowberry! It just got a little bit big. 
and a little less fun. It got a lot big and a no fun. A little play for the baby berrykins was a fun idea, but I kind of went overboard. <laughs> I bet everyone is mad at me. Oh, they aren't mad at you. They're all on stage, waiting for their next directions. Really? Maybe you could do a different play. Something on a smaller scale, so you could have fun directing it. You think they'd give me a second chance? Everyone loves you, Plum. Of course. Everyone, I have an announcement. If you're willing to help me with another play, I promise we'll do something simple and fun. Something the little Berrykins will love. Oh, well, I, uh, I found a story that sounds like fun. And when can we start? How about tomorrow morning? Delivery for Barrick and Bruce. Oh, he's on a break. We'll take it. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks. Oh, 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 <laughs> wow. It's from Barry Big City Motor Parts. <laughs> oh, bouncing berries. This is what the boss has been waiting for. The new hydraulic juicer rinser for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, what's great on there? <laughs> Let's get to work. We'll have Cherry Jam on our way home before you can say goodbye. Like nuts. Raspberry, watch out! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you lost again! Oh. You've lost three games in a row. We've heard of being a good sport, but this is extreme. Raspberry, is there something else you might be so giggly about? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, just... Okay, so last night, right after the talent show, something very unbelievable, well, incredible, um, and uh, just great happened. Excuse me, Miss Raspberry Tort. Here's my car, darling. Give me a call when this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. Whoa! <gasps> yep. <laughs> Here's your card. Raspberry, that's great! <gasps> yes! Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh, well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited, nervous. I because what if it's if it's not? What if she says who? Raspberry, the dog trainer. Oh, dress designer. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me now. The glitter gown. Well. Darling, are you sitting down because, congratulations, we're hiring you to make 6,000 dresses for the annual Very Big City Firefly Convention. I mean, who needs that? You don't 
know that's what would happen. And you won't know till you call. Yeah, well, maybe later. I can wait. Well, we can't. But our, our game. <laughs> the game can wait. She might make you a fashion star. Think of the fame, the fortune, the fans. Oh, uh, hello? Yes, this is Raspberry Tort, and I... You have? Really? Oh, you do? Me? Yes, uh, well, I guess. Yes! Well, tell us! What? Oh, she, uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate, right away, and talk about... Yes? Yes? Starting a new line of raspberry glitter. You know, glitter gowns. <laughs> You have to help me. Tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and... Oh, very big city. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed! Oh, come yeah! on! <laughs> Wonderful! Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh, hello, Barrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? What part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh, yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Barry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Go, oh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very Big City Motor Parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Oh, I'm... Oh, uh, Strawberry, which one's dressy enough for Very Big City? Uh... We should ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. Hmm. What's wrong? Strawberry, do you think Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know. And you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. Okay, pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Both! Better to be prepared. Good luck! Oh, wow, Raspberry! Have fun! I made you some hair scents for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good. Good luck. Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you, do you know which hair scent you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you in a few days. <laughs> Crumbs. Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry. Plum's turn. Fumble and poison berries. I rent my dress. <laughs> 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 Raspberry will sew that up in. Oh, that's right. She's not here. Ah! <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me my own design studio? <gasps> my own staff? <gasps> I'm coming back tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? <laughs> uh, 
Well, I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, girls! I mean... <laughs> Step aside! Make way for the future fashion star of Very Big City, the fabulous Ra -ra Raspberry! Oh. She eats up the fashion scene! Oh dear, I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look. It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, wonderful, Raspberry. I that show. What a... Welcome to Berry Bitty City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Blood Scarlet Cummerbunds. Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends. And... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll. Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here, and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word, and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. That. If you find out, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Pinched, pleated Paisley, you poor dear. However, did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Ba -ba -da. Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But, but this is my very first sewing machine. It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. Mavis feels need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, shoo, shoo. Ra, ra, ra raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry? We're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean... <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last century. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. <laughs> Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. Uh, no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mo. They want to speak to you, dear. Oh, uh, mm, hello? Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to... Rawr. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? Blackberry seed facial mask. We wanted blackberry seed and guava. I am out of guava. No guava? Very big city salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. Oh, this will never do. Don't worry, dear, Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Jerry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. 
Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should ask Jerry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. Tears and smiles at the same time. We know you gotta go and live your dream. We've been together for so long. You not here will feel so wrong. But time goes on and we have our She needs her beauty sleep. She forgot us? The raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. And I miss the raspberry I know. Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, Sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of Raspberry? Oh, no! I'm worried for her. You know, the stars shine much brighter here than in Berry Big City. Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Oh, uh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me. Uh, hiya, Raspberry. Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is? Oh, race. <laughs> That's where we're going. The very bitty city Race. I can't believe they didn't remind me. Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Oh, wait. If it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the Berry Big City Yacht Club. Look! Raspberry's here! She does care about us. Let's go back and restart the race. Hi, Raspberry. Glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, 
I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party! Oh! Oh, I... Oh, no! Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party for you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure! Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that? <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> Mavis, I think that look is you. <laughs> How could you do this to Mavis, Maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going-away party. Oh, it's not a going-away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind, wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home. All right, folks, this is where it happens, right here. The whole town's gonna show up right here for the Glimmerberry Gathering. So we want this place spotless. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody, look lively, look lively. season of the year. Okay, now, let's make this whole place sparkle. Wonder what 
what's in this? <laughs> Sorry. There's a book in here. The one we used to read for First Frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original, one of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Here they come! Glad you could make it. Oh, thanks for coming. Come on in. Take a seat anywhere you like. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this strawberry. In the old days, this was my favorite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year, with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, Everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful berry grove. Oh, oh. But the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder, <gasps> and colder, and colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmerberry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern, because it was important to- Wow! They've been carving glimmerberries that long? That's right, for many years. <laughs> I have no idea. Me and so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh. I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um. Oh. I guess. They didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> hmm. Good. 
but not good enough. Not original, one of a kind, never been seen before enough. Hmm. I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's got to be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm. No, that's not it. Aha! Yes! Oh, yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just want it to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I could make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. Nice shape, right size. I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> what was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. <laughs> Where's everybody going? Over to Strawberries. We're going to show each other our Glimmerberry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love Oh, that's oh. I think. Can I go first? Can I, please? Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's oh, almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like it. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. I'm not going to carve a Glimmerberry this year. But, Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the Glimmerberry Gathering unless... everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, Strawberry, we have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. 
Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day and... I heard that. Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying, but it was Orange who copied me. I didn't copy anybody. Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. I said it didn't copy. copy. Girls, who's copying? Girls, who's copying? Who's copying? Who's copying? Who's copying? Who? And one accused the other, and on and on it went, and now... No one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, Cupcake. I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. to do. Meeting! Meeting time! Meeting at the cafe! Blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, everybody! Come on over as soon as you can! Tell everybody! Anybody! Everybody! Important meeting right now! What's happened? What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah! What's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <coughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin, but then they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked. The plants were saved. But only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait! That's... that's... that's my design! That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too! So did I! We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then... then... I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kind of, sort of, oh, forgive me. 
Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's do it! Come Let's on! Do it. Come on, everybody! How's this looking? Awesome! How about this one? Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! Oh, give me another oh, second! Oh, oh. Give me another second! I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you! Just two weeks until the big event. What big event? It's Barry in the Know Fashion Talk Show's first fashion contest. Oh, a fashion contest? <laughs> Technology makes this live streaming Barry Net show possible. So our theme is technology in fashion. Technology? That's right, technology. So enter today. Until then, this is Mavis Maraschino reminding you to ask yourselves, are you very in the know? <laughs> What's the matter? You two are the fashion experts of Berry Bitty City. You definitely have to enter. We know fashion, but technology is not our area of expertise. Now wait, so what if you're techno newbies? I just read a book that says when you're a beginner, anything's possible because you don't know what's impossible. It says right here, above all, you must keep your windows of creativity open. Whoa. <gasps> I think the windows are opening. Where? No, my windows of creativity. I have an idea. Oh, come on, Raspberry. Thanks, Blueberry. Technology and crashing? No, technology and fashion. We have this great idea for a new kind of fashion show. Could you? Oh, I could. Mm. And we want you to be the star. Uh, sorry, girls. I'm a little distracted tonight. Things have been crazy trying to run the cafe and the marketplace. Today was the worst. 
the marketplace had a run on rutabagas like you wouldn't believe. Maybe you could tell me your idea tomorrow? But this is an unbelievable first for fashion. Here, let me help you. This idea is so, so cutting edge. Let me do that. Brilliant. It's brilliant. Uh. <laughs> I think you better tell me now. So you want me to be your model in this technology and fashion contest with a video camera in my hair? Exactly! Here, look! You'll be wearing a hair cam that Lemon will make! And a special skirt that Raspberry will make! A skirt that's also a video screen! Whatever the hair cam films, the video screen shows! And what the hair cam films will be you demonstrating your favorite recipe using the high-tech gadgets in your kitchen! Wow! That's the wildest tech fashion idea I've ever heard of. You should definitely go with it. <laughs> but I just don't see how I'm going to have time to be your model. I wouldn't even have time to come to the fittings. Uh, not when I'm running two businesses at the same time. Okay, Raspberry, what do you think we should do this? Um, Strawberry, what if you only had to worry about one business? Huh? What if we run the cafe for you until the contest? Then you'd have time to be our model. Please, Strawberry. In the name of art and progress. You think you could run the cafe? Well, we do our beginners best. <sighs> okay, we'll give it a try. Okay, order of waffles, two smoothies. Oh, who had the island surprise? Uh, what's an island surprise? I guess it's a surprise. so I can take over for you at lunch. Gotta go! I have to finish three pedicures, three berry bitty blowouts, and three fresh and fragrant facials. Be a 
the ripe one around here somewhere. <laughs> Text? No. Didn't you get my text? Flying Waffles, the cafe! Wait! Do you smell that? Yeah! Smells really good! It's no one's fault, Sour. Things just happen. If you had checked the air, maybe things wouldn't have just huh? happened. I would have, if you hadn't insisted on doing it yourself, silly. I didn't. But you said you're the only one who knows how. Well, I am. We got flat tires because you wanted to drive through this turnip patch. Strawberry patch! Who's that? Oh, customers! Okay, Sour, customers. Sunshine, sweetness, smiles. I'm smiling on the inside. Good morning. Welcome to Sweet and Sour's food truck. I'm Sweet, she's Sour. We're Sweet and Sour Grapes. We're twins. But we're nothing alike. May I offer you my whipped and whirled peach parfait? Well, thank you. Oh, mm. Mm, 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 that's delicious. If you want delicious, stuff your face with my curried cucumber canapé. Oh! Mmm. Enjoy a persimmon hazelnut honey waffle. Chew on this sun-dried tomato and chili crepe. Bite-sized berry brittle. Diced dates a la sour. No! Stop! It's so, so good. good! Which one? It was the dates, wasn't it? I can't make up my mind. But one thing is certain. You girls sure can cook. Lemon, what if we get that? I know we just met, and we barely know you, but how would you like a job? Great! The Barricans are on it. They're gonna take care of the food truck. Do you think this is gonna work? Piece of cake! I'll get them to set up in the cafe while you try your new hair cam on Strawberry. Then you can have her for your skirt fitting this afternoon. Deal! Okay, now don't move. Mm -hmm. And perfect! We are about to make fashion history! <gasps> Good afternoon, miss. Please have a seat. Take your order. Uh, who, who are? No hurry. Take your time to peruse our menu of delicious, delectable, and simply delightful dishes. I'll be back in a jiffy. What'll it be? Uh, someone already. Uh, wait, who? What's with your hair? What? Never mind. Taste can't be learned, but lucky for you, you get to taste one of my, I mean, our specials. Today we have Sweets Banana Butter Squash Bleak. I mean, bisque. Sours, salsify, sunflower salad. Mm, it's a winner. And I don't know why I even mentioned this special. The other chef made it. But <sighs> sweet strawberry fondue. Or I should say fondue. Ew. <laughs> oh, and I highly recommend my spicy ricey jalapeno omelet with peanut butter chutney. Uh... Maybe if I go bake a cake and come back, you'll have made up your mind by then. I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you the specials. I would recommend the strawberry fondue. That's a real crowd pleaser. Hi, Lemon! 
to meet Strawberry for a fitting. Aren't you finished yet with her hair? Oh, I'm finished, all right. Finished with my hair cam, finished with technology, finished with this whole contest. What are you talking about? Where's Strawberry? At the marketplace. She said she had to go back to work. Nuh-uh. She's not. I mean, I'm at the marketplace and she's not. Oh, she must have went her other place of business. Hey, was she excited when you told her about the twins? Lemon, I thought you were going to tell her about the twins. Oh. <gasps> A pyramid. Oh, I, I never serve pyramids in my cafe. Oh, dear. Are these people? Is there something wrong with your papaya pyramid? Uh, if someone would just tell me... What is... I totally understand. You needn't say another word. I'll get you a nice celery sweet swirl, one of my personal specialties. Strawberry! We can explain! Some strangers who don't seem to like each other very much have taken over my cafe. I don't know who they are. I don't know where they came from. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to find out. No, 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 no. It's our fault. Oh, we sort of, kind of, thought we would... We didn't just think. We actually went ahead and hired them. Hired them? Them whom? Whom? Them? Sweet and sour. They're really good chefs. Uh, and they're twins. <laughs> it's too sweet. Sweet. Just give it a taste. It's way too salty. We're making soup, not syrup. <gasps> they don't look so much like twins. I don't think they want to. Uh, let's talk. Ladies, I don't know if now's the best time to try new chefs. Especially with the dinner honoring Princess Barrikin tonight. <gasps> the dinner! We'll make sure everything goes smooth as icing. Smooth them! Smoother! Even! I don't know about this. We'll make it work, Strawberry. Are you sure? Promise! Well, okay. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. Thank you. <sighs> I have to go check the marketplace. Then I'll be expecting you back at the salon, Lemon, so you can do something about this. About what? <laughs> oh, that. Sure, of course, no problem. <laughs> oh, what were we thinking? Well, who knew they were so argumentative? No, I mean the contest. I mean everything. Oh, I can't make a hair cam. I can't make a video skirt. Oh. Whatever gave us the idea we could do this in the first place? Blueberry! Breathe deeply. Let the aromas of nature stimulate your creative energies. Ah, uh, What is that stuff? Fizzleberry and Nostrilla Tickle Bun. They stimulate the sinuses and the senses. Nice, isn't it? Mm -mm, not really. So, let's try a word association exercise to break down the walls of rigid thinking and let those problem-solving creative ideas flow. I'll say a word, and you say the first word that pops into your mind. We'll start with lemon. Here we go. Hairdo. Explosion! Fashion. Failure. Style. Stale. Um, I don't think this is working. Oh, I'm sorry, Blueberry. It's not the exercise. It's me. I'm just in a bad mood. Uh, maybe you better continue without me. Oh, Lemon, don't give up. Everyone gets moody from time to time. <gasps> moody! That's it! I'll do mood nails instead of a hair cam. I'll design nails that change color depending on your mood. Yay! Great idea, Lemon. But then, what do we show on your video screen skirt? I don't know. Could we pre-record something cool and screen that on the skirt? Then it wouldn't have to be live. You know, we wouldn't need a hair cam. Bells and berries, that's it! Any friend fragrance? Um, I mean, scents that bring friendship, harmony, a little peace? I recommend Lemon Verbena and Skittermint. Thanks! Just in case. <laughs> I'd like to 
share a few of my most pleasant memories of our beloved Princess Barakin. A princess who reigns with grace and wisdom. We all remember Sour. when... Sour! Something's burning! <gasps> my cakes! <sighs> oh, great! I'm sorry, Sour. Can I help you make some new ones? Oh? So you can take credit for them, huh? What? Oh, no! Or maybe slip some vinegar into the mix so they'll think your cakes are better than mine. Oh, you're talking nonsense. I'm talking deceit, sweet. Underhanded kitchen tricks for my own sister. <gasps> You almost hit me! It was an accident. An accident? I don't believe you. Huh. Well, that was. But this isn't! Ah! <gasps> uh, my apron! My apron! That you stole! Oh, really? Then if you are wearing mine, then you won't mind if I put some of this parsley pop on my apron! <gasps> you call this a parsley puff? You... you... Sous chef! Sous chef? Oh! Take that! And quick! Play something! Girls! Girls! Breathe! Breathe! Peace! Yeah. Harmony! Friendship! Together? Of course not. Mine is the glinty minty sparkle. And I made the creamy carnation rose. Mmm. I've never tasted anything so very delicious. Oh, must be oh, mine. Oh, here, try mine. Mmm. 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 Ah! Mmm! That's it. Uh, they're both great on their own, but mixed together? Oh, wow! <laughs> Divine! Really? You know, if you two created recipes together, your cooking would reach a whole new fantastic level. Us? Cook something together? Well, I guess we could try. Great, because we have some cakes to ice. Come on, I'll help you. Let's alternate each layer with both your cakes and mix your icings. And we'll make one giant cake for Princess Berrykin. Mmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have another slice. <laughs> this is the best. If you'll share some of your cooking secrets with me, you can stay. Oh, you can have my old bedroom above the cafe. Really? But you have to try and get along. We may be expert chefs, but I'll admit, we aren't expert sisters. <laughs> I'm only asking you to do your best. <sighs> I think we can agree to that. What do you think, Raspberry? Should we give our tech fashions another try? Tech tomorrow! Tonight we eat! <laughs> oh, you daisies look thirsty. You're growing incredibly fast. Hi, Blueberry. So, how does your garden grow? Most definitely the fastest growing flowers I've ever seen. Just planted the seeds this morning, and look, they've sprouted already. Wow, that is fast. Zippy grow dramatic daisies, from berry bitty seed to full-size flower in just a few days. Um, how big do you think they'll get? Approximately as tall as my store. Oh, almost forgot. The cookbook you ordered came this morning. Oh, terrific! Here you are! The Mighty Muffin Cookbook. Big recipes for bitty bakers. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're very welcome. There's a corn muffin recipe in here that I can't wait to try. I've heard it's really good but it's more complicated than anything I've baked before. I read about the author, a very famous chef in Big Bitty City. I'm sure if you just follow his directions, you'll be just fine.
75. Check. Set timer for 25 minutes. Check. Huh? Recipe? If those are muffins, I can't wait to see what happens when you bake a cake. Thanks for helping me clean up, everybody. When somebody in Berry Bitty City needs help, we all help. <gasps> you got it. Sure, no problem. Glad to help. That's what we do in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And you're quite sure you followed the recipe? I think so. Well, the most likely explanation is that you must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Seems like it. But I was sure I followed the directions. Well, I'll just have to try it again. And this time, I'll be super careful. wonder they call you Zippy Grill. You're really getting big! Hmm... It's my observation that you look a little different from the picture. But you're so young yet. Who knows what you'll look like when you grow up? <gasps> oh, no! Come on! What is it? Oh, no! Not again! Let's go! Uh, don't worry. This time I just put one bitty, and I mean very bitty muffin in the oven, instead of a whole pan. Huh? <gasps> huh? Oh. This time, all I have to clean is the oven. Okay, I got it. Just change its name to... Muffin surprise! Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Muffin explosion? Ha! Uh, Mega Muffin Explosion Supreme! Ha uh ha! -huh. <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny! <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. I was extra careful to follow the directions, but the same thing happened. I checked off every step, double checked the oven's temperature, triple checked the timer. Huh. Maybe the recipe has a mistake in it. What do you think? I think that's highly unlikely. Something you did seems more probable to me. Too much flour, not enough water? I measured everything to the last drop. But, you know, sometimes the most unlikely possibility is possible. There might be a mistake in the cookbook. But how could that be? I don't know. But the only way to find out is to give it another try and pay extra super close attention to every step. And if it still doesn't work, well, then maybe this is one of those times when I'll have to use my own judgment, my own common sense, and my own taste buds and adjust the recipe. Don't worry, I'll solve this puzzle. Hmm, I like directions you can count on. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes it's fun to improvise. Improvise? It means to make something out of what you have at the moment. Kind of like when things don't go as planned, go with what you have and make the best you can with it. I like it. Sounds like a good way to solve a puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, I've got one for you in my garden. Got a minute? Sure. Well, they're tall, all right. Even taller than the package said they were supposed to be. Are you sure they're daisies? Of course! It says so on the seed packet. Could they just look that way because they're still growing? Well, I'm not a plant expert. But you know who is! Uh, uh, oops! Sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> no problem. Well, let's see. There you go. 
Yes, it must be. <laughs> it's corn. Corn? Impossible! I planted daisy seeds. <gasps> <laughs> Oh, oh, thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're welcome, Berry Can Bloom. But are you sure? Oh, yes. If you hadn't caught me. I mean about the, you know, daisies. Daisies? Oh, no, 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 no. Corn. Oh, dear. What's the matter? You've never looked sadder. It must have been something I did to the daisy seeds. Too much water, or too little water, or too much sun or something. Uh, oh my, <laughs> you did everything right. <laughs> Best crop of corn I've seen. <laughs> Bet you'd be a natural with squash. Hmm. Oh, well, come on, everybody. Back to the berry works. <laughs> nice corn. Ooh, that's what I call corn. Tallest I've ever seen. Boy, it is big. Hi, berrykins. Hi, Hi strawberry. Nice corn! So I've been told. Maybe we better dig it up and replant it somewhere else before it gets too big? They can't get bigger. They're daisies. They have to be. It says so on the package. Well, I just came over because I got a letter from the author of the Mighty Muffin Cookbook. I wrote to him. You did? Uh-huh. I said I couldn't get his recipe to work, so I improvised. I've made muffins before, and I don't remember ever using that much baking soda. I tried using less, and the muffins came out better. So I asked the author, could there be a mistake in his book? And what did he say? That he checked it out, and yes, there was a mistake. The recipe called for a cup full of baking soda, when it should have been a tablespoon. Wow, that's the last thing I would have imagined for the cookbook to be wrong. I tried the muffins again with the right directions, and they came out perfectly. He says they're printing a new edition right away with the mistake fixed, and he's sending me a signed copy. <laughs> That's wonderful, Strawberry. So, you never know. Maybe you did everything right, but the package was wrong. Here, I made a batch of muffins for you. Oh. Thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Listen, gotta run back. <laughs> I'm still baking. See you, Blueberry. No. The plants I'm trying to describe that are growing in my garden at this very minute do not look anything like daisies. Okay, now let me get this straight. You're saying long leaves. Long leaves. Kind of bent down and flopped over, sort of like cornstalk leaves. Exactly like cornstalk leaves. And you say long thing is that sort of look like ears of corn. No, they look exactly like ears of corn. I'm looking at a picture of a big stalk of corn. Right here in the official encyclopedia of flowers, farm foods, and... Well, I'm a daisy man myself, no expert on corn, except when I pop it. But watch out, when you're bitty, that stalk pops with a bang. <laughs> but here at Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for bitty gardens is our motto, we pretty much guess that what you have growing there is probably... Corn. But how is that possible when I planted your company's daisy seeds? Well, now, right there's the mystery. And I don't mind telling you, it's got us stumped. Oh! Oh, no! See, the plain fact is that here at Zippy Grove Daisies, we don't sell corn, no serene. But we're a fiction tool. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. We've been experimenting with our own Zippy Grove Supersize Ever Pop Popcorn. Wow, what a bang when it pops. Goes off like a firecracker. As soon as we can figure out how to get the bang out of the pop, we're gonna put it on the market. In the meantime, we think that's the answer to your mystery. It is? Yep. We figure some of our experimental supersized popcorn must have gotten to one of our official daisy seed packets. And you bought it. <gasps> oh, no! Great zone. <laughs> we all feel 
feel so sorry it happened. We're sending you a year's supply of Zippy Grow Daisy Seed Packets. Compliments of Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for pretty gardens is our motto. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Good night. <gasps> oh, no! I've called you all here is to see if we can put our heads together and figure out what we want to do with these. Well, since Blueberry says it's popcorn, I say let's pop it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, sounds good to me. All right, let's get popping. Okay, yeah, and have a popcorn party. I think that would be lovely. Oh, that's that's so good. Good. I wish I had listened to you, Strawberry, when you said I should replant them somewhere else. Now look at all the trouble my garden has caused. I'm afraid a popcorn party with this popcorn would be ill-advised, meaning not a good idea. You see, the seed company hasn't figured out how to take the bang out of the pop, and I believe it would be too dangerous. Huh? Oh my, we are pretty bitty. And this corn pop's very big. Yeah, oh, it's not a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's an idea. Um, we could dig up all the corn stalks and move them so no more grows here. Good idea. We'll start right away. And we better get all these ears of corn out of town before they ripen and drop their seeds and grow goodness knows how many more. Good point. Oh, I wonder how far we'll have to take them. I would estimate far enough away so when the seeds do grow, they don't threaten us again. Makes sense to me. Yeah. On strawberry, how can we move them? <laughs> We're so bitty, and they're so <laughs> big. <sighs> Too bad we can't eat them. I have an idea. Orange, do you have any more rope in your store? Yes, I do. Why? Okay, let's move about! enough away, I believe. Steam heat will be warm. 
I'm getting hungry. Yeah, me too. I wish I had an idea how to get us out of this. Oh, I never read about this kind of thing in any of my books. We'll figure out a way. Improvise. What we need is a ladder. Too bad all we have is an ear of corn. Wait, what did you say? Improvise. That's it! Hey! An, an ear of corn ladder! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> The vent is making it too slippery. If only that steam vent would stop steaming. Now I'm really hungry. I wonder how raw popcorn tastes. Wait, why eat it raw? Because this place doesn't have a kitchen to cook it with. Use the steam vent. Heat the corn and make it pop. Then we could eat it. Good thinking, Strawberry. <laughs> Places that they should be. It's like they just vanished into thin air. It doesn't make sense. Then uh, maybe we should look in all the places that, you know, uh, don't make sense. What, like the opposite direction from where we last saw them? Why not? Well, at least we'll have plenty to eat. We can always pop more corn. Popcorn. That's it. Let's pop all the corn and it will fill up this cavern and carry us to the top. Oh, Blueberry, that's a great idea. Yeah. 